Let me know if you can hear me, if you can see me, hit the like button, all the things. Happy Wednesday. <laughs> and while y'all are doing that, I'm going to let everybody know that I'm live on Instagram real quick. Okay. Can you guys hear me? See me? All the things? Let me see. Oh, I see Khadija's here. Hi. Hi, guys. Okay. Let's see if that works. Oh, okay. Perfect. Hi, guys. Wonderful. Hi, Yolanda. Hi, Latresa. Hi, Rita. Welcome on in. And happy Wednesday. I was getting worried for a second. I was like, wait, can they not hear me? Did they? Where are they? But you guys are all here. So wonderful. <laughs> and I'm also going to share this really quick on my um, YouTube community post. I felt like I had to go live tonight because I didn't get the decorating video up on Sunday. So just so I can give you guys an update, I cannot leave y'all hanging. Um, because progress has been made, but not enough to the point where the video is ready. And I don't want to do like a decorating part one, a decorating part two. I just want the decorating all to be in one. It's done. And then we can move on to the next thing, you know? Okay, perfect. Wonderful. All right, let me scroll up. Hey, y'all. Hey. Uh, how y'all doing? Chanel, Alexa, Martina, Sharon, Angela, Edna, Clean Clean, Paula, Terry, Jenny's Corner. From one teacher to another. Oh, I love that. Yes. Barbara, love Chrissy, Shanta, Deborah, Mrs. Quick. Nadine, Irene, Thrifty, Texas Mom, Terry, DWD Designs to Sell by Deja. Yes, come through with the usernames. <laughs> Nichelle, Nana, Nina, Gail, D, D Small, Peace Smiles, The Lovely One, Angela, Victoria, everybody popping in. Hi, you guys. I hope you all having a really good day. And thank you for being here on Wednesday night. So we have a project. <laughs> You guys, look at this layout. What do y'all think? Let me know in the chat. What are the thoughts, right? This lamp is going to go in the office, of course. And it actually came from my mom. You know my mom, she'd be having all the good stuff. And this is a vintage lamp. It is stunning. You guys see like the little crystal it has right here? And then let me bring you a little closer. It's a little dusty. Don't mind that. But like... Look at all of the, the lamp. Just look at the lamp. Do you guys like this? And then it goes all the way down to the floor. Cute little floor lamp, the little beading. Do y'all see the vision? Because we're not exactly going to keep it like this, but we're going to DIY it because it has a few little imperfections right here where it's breaking. So, y'all. This is the project for tonight. We are going to be DIYing the lampshade because everything else about it is so beautiful. Like all the character that it has, um, the base, the brass details, it's stunning. But the lampshade just isn't giving. I do love the shape though. I feel like the shape is so unique, but the fabric itself, uh, it just doesn't go with... <laughs> It doesn't go with the office. Let me see what you guys are saying, if y'all like it. Okay, Terry says she loves it. Edna says it'll be beautiful. Thrifty Texas Mom says it's so much character. It is, right? It has so much character. Irene says she loves the lamp. So beautiful in the Western era. You know, I could see that definitely because of like these, like those little fringe thingies that people come through the doors with. Yeah, that definitely gives me Western vibes. Yolanda says it's interesting, but I'm sure it'll be beautiful once you put your spin on it. <laughs> Thank you. We're all going to try to do that tonight. And it seems like the majority of you guys, for the most part, 
are saying you like it, except for Carolyn. It's a flat out no from Carolyn. <laughs> Carolyn, just wait and see, because I'll be honest, Marcus, when he saw it, he was like, what is that doing in here? I don't like it. I was like, but wait, 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 wait. We're going to make it better. So let me show you the fabric that we're gonna use to create the new lampshade. So this is the fabric, I chose black, y'all. I almost did cream, but me and Marcus decided that since there's so much cream already in the room that we should do black and it'll match like some of the other little black details we have here because we really don't have a lot of black. So what do you guys think of the fabric? I feel like the lighting isn't the best. Let me turn you right here. Cause it's kind of like a sway and it does have texture. Y'all will see better on the vlog, but black, right? For the shade. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Let's see. Okay, I see some yeses. Edna says with a cream border. I don't know, should we? That actually would be cute. I think that would be really cute. Um, hey y'all, welcome on in. If you're just popping on, please be sure to hit the like button, comment, hello, all the things. Right now we're talking about the lamp that we're gonna be DIYing. It came from my mom. And while we like it overall, the shade is what we're about to go ahead and DIY real quick. And this is the fabric I was showing you guys that I got from Joanne's today that I think will be really pretty. And yeah, you guys seem to like it. Awesome. So I've never done this before. And I really don't know quite what I'm doing. To be very honest, I wish our mom was here right now because she would know exactly what to do. If need be, we'll FaceTime her. But I have a box cutter here and scissors and I'm thinking what I need to do first and y'all let me know because you guys are here let me know what I should do first right but what I'm thinking is that I should get like take all the fabric off so we can see the bones of the lamp so that does mean I'm gonna have to like cut um this part off but this part is already peeling so let's start here Oh, thank you, Jay Fitzgerald. They said I have total faith in your vision. That means a lot. Thank you. LBT Electric Dino says that's a cute vintage lamp. It is so cute. I agree. Thank you. Angela says, won't the black limit the light coming from the lamp? That is a good question. Um, right now, let me show you guys what it looks like plugged up. It's not a very bright lamp anyway, but I mean, we could do a different bulb. So this is what it looks like turned on. Do you guys see a difference there? It's not much, even though what's down here is kind of a lighter color. So I think just because, I don't know, the light probably will be affected. That's a really, really good point. Yeah, it probably will be affected. But I think the whole idea of it is to have like when the big light isn't on, just to have a little bit of light in the room, you know, because there's so much natural light in here. I just want us to have another option just in case we don't want to have the big light on. And there wasn't any um, room on Marcus's desk to put like a table lamp. But yeah, I should have thought about that. Uh, I don't know anymore. I still, well, either way, we still have to take the fabric off. Okay, let me see what y'all are saying, and then we'll start. Okay, Mazzy Kin says, I think it'll come out nice. I hope so. I really, really hope so. Netta says, remove the fringe. Oh, yeah, the fringe is definitely coming off, like all the beading right here. It's a moment, but just not for this space. Um, Terry says, do you see a glow? I've been using my Dime Beauty, so hopefully so, but my skin has been acting up. I've had, like, acne up here. So if you see a glow, that is so, so, so nice. I've been trying to get back on my skincare routine. Um, Darius says they are supposed to close Joanne's. They filed bankruptcy. I had no idea. 
But sometimes when you go into Joann's, it does look a little, well, the one I go to, it does look a little sparse sometimes. So I could see that. I could definitely see that. Okay. Um, awesome. I think we should go ahead and get started, right? Okay. Let's just do it. Let me turn off the light. Unplug it. And let's just go for it. Let me vlog because that's what I forgot to do last time. I'm going to put it on time lapse. Okay, perfect. We're going. Let's start. I'm just going to rip it right here, y'all. Okay. I mean, that was so easy. Now let's continue. Because we're just going to take all the fabric off until we can kind of like get to the bones of it all. And if you've ever made a lampshade, please give me some tips right now. <laughs> and put them in all caps so it'll stand out in the chat. Your advice in all caps, please. Okay, y'all, what do you think? Let me see. Angela says, can you remove the shade from the lamp? I could. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I definitely will. I think I just need it to stay on right now for the angle, but also so that you guys can see. And it gives me a little bit of tension while I'm pulling it off. Okay. That was easy. Now, um, now what? <laughs> um, I kind of want to keep this because I know one thing I did with my mom when we did redid the chair, she made sure that we didn't like completely tear up the fabric so that we could use it as a pattern. So if you guys are just popping in, welcome. We are redoing this vintage lampshade that I got from my mom for the office. This is the fabric that we have picked out as of right now. Um, we'll see if that changes, but what we're trying to do right now is just get this to the bare bones. If you haven't already liked the video and comment advice as well. Yes, Mazzy can make a pattern with it against the black fabric. Exactly. That's exactly what we're going to do. Kaya says, can you just buy another shade and connect it instead of redoing that one? Totally. You, I totally could. But you guys, I really like the shade. Like, look at this, the details of it. I feel like it's so unique. Like, where else would I find something like this? But I definitely could have just bought a circular one to go here for sure. And if this does not work, that might be what we do. <laughs> but I'm hoping this will work. I'm just trying to, like... See, I think I'm going to have to cut this seam, you guys, so that I can, I'm going to be careful because this is my pattern. Oh gosh, it's so thick. It's a lot of hot glue on this, which is what I'm planning to do as well. When we do the new fabric, I bought a lot of hot glue sticks. I'm going to hot glue this thing on here. Okay, let's try the box cutter. The scissors aren't working. Okay, we're, we're making progress. Can y'all see? Okay. Okay. Box cutter for the win. Okay. I need just a little bit more to get this bottom off. Ooh, okay, it's really hot glued on here. Okay. <laughs> ah. Hold on, y'all, hold on, I, I think it's coming. <laughs> um, it's this like ribbon they have on here is pretty thick. I may have to call in the reinforcements, which would be my Marcus, my husband, <laughs> if I can't get this on my own. Oh gosh, it's like really stuck right here, y'all. 
Ay, ay, ay. Let me try to cut along here. Just when I thought this was gonna be easy. Here it goes, giving me trouble. Yay, I'm happy you guys like the shade. Thank you, Candace. Some pliers, yes, that's what I need. I need something, but they're out in the shed and it's it's been so icky and gross and raining here these past few days. I don't really wanna go out there. Okay, y'all, I think I almost got it. I think. Okay. Ugh. This part just like does not want to budge. Oh, maybe I should rip this. Oh, it is just really on here. Okay, let me give my fingers a break and talk to you guys for a second. <laughs> ah, Denzel says, hi, Glamour Swapfire. Is Glam in here? Let me find out. Portia, we are trying to, I know. Portia, we are trying to redo this lampshade. We thought it was gonna be easy because it started off easy. Um, but I've gotten down here where they have the beading and it is, the glue down here is strong. It must have been super glue, not hot glue. Thank you, Design on Dine, Design K Walk. I am being very careful. I'm making sure I don't cut myself. Um, right, Sport Tang, Tang, I'm sorry, Sport. Sport Berry, I'm sorry, I can't really see that. Says, um, just think how many years all the fabric has been there. I know, I know, years probably, just like that chair. Oh my goodness. And Irene says the shade is what makes the entire land. I agree, I agree. Okay, I gave my fingers a break because this is hard work. Let me try to cut this. I don't want to try to like go around it like this. Okay, let me, I don't want to do it like that. I'm gonna look. Ah! Okay, let's just try this. Let's try this, y'all. I'm trying to like get in between the bone and the actual lamp where they have the glue on it. And then see if that helps to like loosen it. Just going up. Ooh, okay, y'all. I think this is working. Okay. It worked a little bit. Let me continue. Can y'all see, I got, let me bring you a little closer because y'all definitely cannot see, especially with the lighting. The lighting is best this way, but I had no way to prop you guys up. Okay, so y'all check this out. You guys see this bottom part right here, my fingers tapping, that is like the bone. So I was able to get that off, this piece right here, by using the razor blade. So that's, that's good progress. Let me see if I can move y'all closer. Wait, what did Angela say? Khadija said, good, good idea, Angela. The scissors now. Okay, Erica. Let's try it. Should I cut? I'm going to cut this part. 
Dude, my scissors are not sharp. I should have took out my Cricut scissors. No, those are sharp. The sharpest scissors I own. Okay. 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 We're getting somewhere. I heard a good rip. Oh, okay. And let me just cut this black piece, which is what's holding all of like the little fringy stuff. Okay. Let's see. Oh, beads went everywhere. Oh goodness, clean that up. Okay, so it's coming along. <laughs> it's coming along. Um, Mazzy, this part is glued on, huh? You got this part broken down yet? No, I don't. Come see here to the people. Y'all, here's Marcus. Hello. <laughs> okay you guys it's actually coming off easier now this was hard work and I had to take one break oh, I think she was ripping that off any glue I, it was glue but it was like some crazy super glue so I didn't have to use all my strength but I had to like use the box cutter do you want to try to rip it's that rip on the scene. I hope so try it use your strength but don't rip it too hard because I'm trying to preserve this for my pattern. Mm -hmm. Oh, see, y'all, Marcus used his muscle and it rips. See, we got to do it. We got to do it the old fashioned way. This, you don't need this, do you? This part? No, I don't. Hold on now, be careful. This is how things usually go. The part you guys don't hear, but we are doing a project. I'm like, Marcus, wait a second, hold on. He's just. Once you're going on this side, oh, here. I use this one, you use the other one. But... Oh, rip this side? Okay, teamwork. But yeah, that's usually how things go. Like, Marcus, wait a second, hold on now. I don't want to break nothing. So you're just trying to cut along the metal part? Yeah. Oh, this is hard. That's what I'm saying. It's hard work. It's tricky. Okay. Oh, they're saying hi. Angela says hi. Mazzy says hi. Hey, y'all. Bennett, I'm sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. I'm so sorry. V Smith says hi. Reese Cup. I know Reese Lanita. Cup. You know Reese Cup. Um, Deidre says hi. And also, DW Designs to Sell by Deidre says hi. DW Heirloom Designs. Vintage and Collectible says hi. I love these usernames. Angela says, y'all are doing a wonderful job with the house DIYs. Thank you so much. Um, Living Out Loud, the podcast after dark says hello, Marcus. Paula says hello. Darius says hello. They keep moving. It's not, I can't get exactly where the scene is. Right here? Yeah, it's not. I keep moving. They keep jumping around. Uh, well, yeah. It's just going to take patience, I think. So um, she can do all things, says hi. Hey, y'all, hey. For those of you just popping on, we are trying to DIY this vintage lampshade that my mom found. We're gonna be recovering it with this really pretty black fabric, hopefully. We'll see, we'll see. And right now, we um, are trying to get off the original fabric so we can just Show the bones of it all. The bones, the but, <laughs> Yeah, but right now it's proving to be a little difficult. So, so yeah. Mm, it's easier. It's easier. Oh, good. I'm just it straight up. I think it's the angle for that. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna rip this part. Y'all, we, we've never done this before. If you're just coming on, I explained earlier, like, this is my first time trying to um, redo, like, a lampshade of any sort. And someone earlier did mention, like, why don't you just get a, oh, gosh, why don't you just get a new lampshade? But this one has so much character and, like, 
cool little flutes and loops and tulips and dips and stuff. So I really want to try to, you know, restore it, DIY it, make it look better while keeping like the character and all that. So yeah. Yes, Brenda, we're going to be careful with all of the knives and all the tools. Thank you, Miss Q Mason. So much. Oh, it froze. Is it okay now? Can y'all hear me now? Are we back? Reese Cup said it froze. Can you guys hear me? Oh, no. Let me look on my phone. I don't even know how to find my live on my phone. Oh, here it is. I don't even know how to find my live. Oh, here it is. Okay, yes. Okay, good. I'm like, it's working on my end. Okay, good. Yes, yes. Oh, you had a commercial. Oh, they're playing commercials. Oh, okay. Donna says, Kaylorize it. Yes, I like that. Kaylorize it. That's what I'm saying. That's a good one. Thank you, Donna. <laughs> Yes, you guys, please hit the like button. Right now, we only have 147 likes, but there's 450 people up in here. So, oh, you're starting on the top. Oh, my gosh, you guys. This is what I always do. I started the YouTube vlog, and then I forgot to keep it going. Let me turn it off this one. 16 Okay. So yeah. Okay. Okay, there we go. We got the YouTube going. We got everything going. Yes, Kayla Rise. <laughs> oh, you guys make doing all this so fun because when I tell you, I would probably be super frustrated right now with this thing. Um, but it's also really fun to do something like with Marcus or like with my mom to have a partner while I'm doing it. It really keeps me going because sometimes these DIYs, they can be, you have a, oh, yeah, it's a big one. They can be tricky and a little discouraging at times. You're like, man, I really thought that was going to come out good. All right, Tay. So outside of this, let me give you guys some more updates since I said this is um, office update video. So outside of the lamp, here's some of the things we do have. We have curtains up in here now. My mom made us some custom curtains to go up in here, y'all. And they look so good. So I can't wait to show y'all those on the live, not the live, the finale, the decorating video, the vlog. <laughs> and then also, um, what else is new? My mom finished the cushion for the um, the bench. You guys, it is so beautiful. We haven't even put it up there yet, but it is stunning. She did so good. Like, my mom was so good at, you know, sewing, just DIYs in general, you know? Like, she is just amazing, and I'm so like happy and blessed to have her here helping me and being able to do these things for me, you know, so that we could keep the project moving along. So that's wonderful. Curtains, cushion is done, the chair is done. The other thing that needs to be Y'all didn't see that, but you did, and the vlog did too. Oh, but it's okay, because my pattern is still intact. It's just this little part won't be. But uh, what was I about to say? The um, the rug for in here, you guys. The rug. If you saw part two, you know that I got the rug from Walmart, and I'm not really vibing with it anymore. I think I want a different rug, you guys, or when I was talking to my mom about the idea of getting a different rug, like a really nice Turkish brown rug, um, she was mentioning that maybe I could just do a runner instead 
right in front of the bin so that way we don't take away from like the beautiful floors that are in here and i also feel like putting the rug in here it made the room look a little bit smaller so what do you guys think leave the rug that i have which is a four by six do a runner or no rug because we know the room looks good with no rug you guys saw in the finale like the floors are popping so rug runner or no rug let me know in the chat what you guys think about that how's it going oh marcus is moving along hold on is it easy or hard up here easier meanwhile i'm still down here <laughs> okay let's see thrifty texas song says runner brenda says rug um jaya or jaya i'm sorry if i'm pronouncing that wrong says wait where'd it go where did her comment go just saw it oh i agree with the runner idea lanita says runner Angela. Okay. Bye, Angela. I'll see you next time. Thank you for popping in and giving us some good things to think about in this vlog. I mean, live. <laughs> uh, her flyness 79 says rug under the desk. Gail says, I'm a fan of the runner. Carolyn says runner. Donna says runner. Candy girl says rug. Chastity says runner. She can do all things as runner. And Lakira says rub for sure. Reese Cup says runner. I'm kind of getting on the runner vibe too, the runner train. But you guys know I'm trying to post this decorating video now since I didn't post it last Sunday. And I thought I was going to be able to post it today. We're still working. So I'm thinking that this decorating vlog will go up on Sunday for sure. But that means that if I do get a new runner, it might not come in time. But I still think that I should go ahead and put the decorating vlog up. And I'll just update you guys later on when the runner does come in. Like if I'm doing a decorating video or just cleaning the video or house update video, I can show you the runner then instead of like prolonging putting out the decorating video. Marcus just took over. He just went to work. Yes. Good job, babe. I know. I'm just chatting. This is this is. You know, it's in the chat. Chat and work. That's the people that there watch the tea channel. Oh, I probably will another time. Yeah. Oh, but I do want to talk to you about something else before we hop into that. Jay Fitzgerald says the floors can definitely stand alone if need be. I agree. The floors are stunning. Absolutely something. Donna says, use the rug in the winter months. Mandy says, Marcus always comes through. Deidre says, teamwork makes the dream work. And it does. Yay! Wow, look at that. I'm going to cut this right along this seam. So we can use this part as the um, template. Marcus, you did that. Great job. Y'all, how long do you think it would have took me if I was still in here doing it by myself? And talking to. <laughs> okay, we have our template for the top part. How cute. Mm -hmm. Y'all, take a look at this. I see that this wasn't one continuous piece of fabric. Right here, they sewed this part together. Now, I don't sew, so I'm like, I wonder why they did that. I don't think I'll need to because I bought a yard. So what I'm thinking I'll do is cut out this on top of my new fabric. I shouldn't need to have a seam, unless it looks buckled when you put it up here, you have to do it piece by piece like that. I'm not sure why they would do that. But we got our pattern. 
Okay, and then let me finish working on this bottom piece. Ooh. Wow. Great job. 16 carriages. They love the lamp. This kind of look fire as is. We paint these black. And leave it like that. You know, if we put an Edison bulb in there. Yeah, definitely an Edison bulb. Or uh, make, put a gas line in there, make it a, uh, the things you like so much on the porch. Oh, the, um, the real old school. Little porch lights. Yeah. Well, since you're on a roll, can you rip this one? The glue down here at the bottom that they use, you guys, is so strong. Was it this tough up here or no? I mean, you can see, I don't get the top of it. It's the uh, edges that you get. Okay. You got to go alongside it. Yeah, I think they use super glue. Mm -hmm. Fabrics come fabric glue. Yeah, something that he adheres really well to this metal because we did not oh, want to yeah, come off. True. true. Oh. If you're just popping on, hit the like button for me. So I think I gave all the updates. Talked about the cushion, curtains, thinking about doing a new rug. Then you ask about the dog yet? Did anyone ask about Marshy? Let me see. I gotta go up. Oh, there we go. Because I probably missed some stuff. I just did everything. I probably missed something. Okay, Donzel says a cleaning video will be fine, right? When I get the new rug or the runner, rather, and if I don't have it before this Sunday, I'll um, add it to whatever video kind of fits well to show you guys what it looks like then. Because all of us are agreeing runner. Do you agree about the runner too? I remember I told you about that yesterday. Mm -hmm. So Marcus agrees too. So it looks like we're all on the same page. So now we got to go shopping. I'll probably do that tonight while I'm in bed. Just scroll the rep. The web, the web for a rug. Hi, Maggie. Welcome. Yeah. Lanita says the fabric has to match the frame. Candy Girl says that lamp doesn't need a shade. It could just have a nice bulb. That is literally what Marcus just said. I, I'm scrolling up. I'm about to go back down, y'all. Ask your mom and see what her input would, de would be, says Deidre. She is a sewer. Yes, she is. And I think before I cut anything... I will definitely get her opinion of it all. Oh, that looks great. So fun. Yolanda says, Marcus, I like that new song, 16 Carriages. Also, oh, y'all heard him humming it. Do you, does everybody enjoy the new country vibe that Beyonce is, um, you know, going with? When is the album coming out? Isn't it this month? I forgot. Maggie says she likes your idea. I just went away. Oh, mm -hmm. to um leave it like this, like naked like this. Yeah. It does look cool. LG says it kind of looks nice bare like that. Hold on now, y'all. Y'all for real. Especially, well. Come on, y'all. Y'all really think it, it looks good like this. From this? But if you were to redo this whole thing in the black or the dark, dark color. Mm hmm and just leave it exposed and then have a different light bulb in there. Mm -hmm. It'll just be the black and the light bulb. Well, let's test it. Can you grab an Edison light bulb out of the um, little lights we have over the bookcase? Yeah. Okay. And let's pop it in here. What is that? I don't know what you're talking about. Um, over the scarf lights. There's an Edison bulb there. Over the bookcases. Just you so there are lights that? over the bookcases. Yeah. Yes, the sconces over the bookcases. Oh, those are the lights you want me to grab. Yeah, the oh. light bulb. The light bulb. <laughs> okay, y'all, we're going to try it. We're going to play. We're going to see. Jasmine says glass instead of fabric. The way glass would be a vibe, but like how would we, I don't even know how yes. we would go about that, but that would definitely be a vibe, Jasmine. Dana says that would be nice, just like that with the Edison bulb. Yes. Yes. Okay, Tanzel asks where's Marshmallow. We'll bring Marshmallow in a sec. Okay, you guys are just thinking it'll look good like this. So okay, well, definitely it looks off. 
but that's what it looks like. Um, did you, um, can it be tightened or no? Tightened? It's just sitting on top of the car. Oh. What do you guys think? It does have a certain je ne sais quoi. Chassis says, yeah. Interesting. It really looks like it's something there, even though there's not anything there. I don't know. Are y'all for real? I don't know. To me, I don't know. It looks unfinished. Let me it, show them if the you real. Take off all the glue and Let fabric. me show them because they can't see it good. Okay, y'all. Hold on. So there, it still has parts that we cannot take off. For example, oops, like this is the old fabric right here that you guys probably could not see, and then. Like down here, like these, like the skeleton, the actual framing of this is not perfect. I probably have to take like a Brillo pad and like scrub it. Also, from far away, the whole thing looked like it was brass, but this is actually, well, could y'all tell that? That this was like a silvery gunmetal color while the bottom part looks brass. So, yeah. What do y'all think now? I think I could get the glue off if I probably bought like a glue adhesion, something of the rather. But since we played with this and you guys saw what it looked like, oh, Mark is unplugged it. With the light on, right? This is it with the light on. I don't know how to stop the glare, but. Let me back up. I don't know. I do not think I'm obsessed with it. Um, so let's see what, if we just like drape the new fabric on top, what that'll look like. So for those of you just come in, this is the new fabric that I got today at Joann's. It's a suede type. It has like some texture to it. It's a really pretty black color. I just kind of, how am I going to drape this? <laughs> Probably won't work. But I'm trying to give us an idea, you know, before we say we're going to do either this or that. Make the final decisions. Let me see. <laughs> okay okay y'all this looks crazy but it's because okay this gives you an idea of what the black shade would look like right what do you guys think because this is my vision to do but to do the black shade obviously i'll form it to the skeleton of the frame, but this is what your girl was thinking. Oh my gosh. Can y'all, I hope y'all can get the vision. Does, does that look cute too? Or even cuter than leaving it naked? Okay, Mrs. Make It Better says flat out no. <laughs> It'll look better though, y'all. I can only do it like this because I haven't cut it. Yolanda says no too. Mazzy Ken says I like both, but just do what you love for sure. Yolanda says, I meant to say Gugan. Oh, to get the like the old fabric off. For sure. Brenda says do the black. Deja says go with your original idea and do the black. Her flyness said nine says it'll be nice when it's done. I see the vision. Maggie says, put some diamonds on it. Yes. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, but I don't know if that'll work. Earlier, I believe it was Angela who said, with a black shade, will light still shine through? I was about to turn it back on now that we have this on top, but I folded this over a few times. So it let me unfold it then. How about that? Let me unfold it and just do one layer of fabric like how it would be. And let's see how bright it gets with just one layer over top. <laughs> okay, let's just do it. I feel like this isn't a good representation. The light is on, but you can't tell because it's going all the way down to the floor. Marcus, are you busy? Marcus is busy. I was going to ask him to hold this up for me, like how it would be, you know, like cut to where this stops and then we could kind of see. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> because I'm trying to see, we're trying to get the vision. Marcus like, why you got that draped over there like that? Because I'm trying to see if this is a good fabric choice, period. Or we need to go in a different direction. If I choose to go with this, like how much light will come through? Okay, that's the best I can do with holding it by myself. Let me turn it on. Okay. You guys see that? There's light. <laughs> While my arm is in the way. Do you guys see that? There's light. The light. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. Oops, sorry. I don't want to blind y'all. Ah, okay. There we go. So, we should, okay, I'm going to make a poll because that's the only way I'll be able to know for sure because there's a lot of comments right now. So hold your thoughts, guys. Let me make a quick poll to see what we should do. Start a poll. Um, lampshade, question mark, question mark. Leave it. Or cover it. So let's just start with that. Please answer in the poll. Oh, oh my gosh. You guys are not loving it. Y'all are not loving it. I'm shook. I'm shook. I'm shook. Mm. Mm. I was not expecting this. If you're just popping on or you haven't already, please go ahead and hit the like button. We have only 287 likes, but there is almost 600 people here. So please like while we are waiting for the poll results to come on in. Oh, this angle. There we go. I'm going to give it one more minute to see if some more people are going to pop on and sway the vote. Let's see if the vote gets swayed. But right now, hmm. Let's give it a minute. Let's give it one more minute. Oh, if you're new here, you probably don't know what we're voting for. So should we leave it like this? Meaning the like skeleton, the bones, and but just like fix it up, right? Like scrub off the glue, maybe spray paint it gold, spray paint it black, whatever. But the idea is that we're leaving this, the bones of it exposed or cover it with fabric, whether it's black fabric, cream fabric, green fabric, any fabric. I just want to know, starting off generally, would it look better left alone or would it look better covered? And then we can get into the details of like, okay, what, what color we're going to spray paint it or what color fabric should we do if the black doesn't look good, you know? 34 seconds. Ay, ay, ay. Marcus? 
What is your final consensus? You think we should leave it? No mercy. I have to sweep up these beads. You think we should leave it or um or should we um cover it? You guys, here's Marshy. You said cover it? What? Babe, it was your whole idea to leave it like this. Y'all see how he switched up on me? Wait, why are you saying that now? Did y'all hear your eyes and why? He's like, mm -hmm. <laughs> This is a part of the reason why I can be so indecisive. Where is she? Lenita says hi. Jaya or Jaya says, love sing Marshy. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm really sorry. I know that's like a hard thing to go through. So sorry, Jaya. I'll be praying for you and your family during this time. Okay. It's been a minute. Let's look at the results and end the poll. <laughs> Where are the results? Oh, there it is. Only 140 of you, 45 of you guys voted now. Come on, there's almost 600 people here. I needed everybody's input. Only 50, 54% of you guys said to leave it. 45% said cover it. Oh man, if it was at least 300 votes, then I definitely, that's only 145 votes. So many of you guys stayed silent. But maybe it's because you're watching on TV, you know? Okay, that's fine. I get it. You may not be able to vote. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to sleep on this. In this, like what I had planned to do tonight was go ahead and start cutting the fabric with you guys. You know, I already got the hot glue and the sticks out, but now I'm gonna have to think on this a little bit more and figure out what it is I really wanna do and go from there, you know? Okay, let me read some comments. R. Adam says, uncovered make it, makes it look like art. Cream with a patterned fabric would be my pick if, if you decide to, um, for the color, if we cover it. Use a lightweight and lighter color fabric to cover. Cover it with a lighter fabric. Okay, yeah, the suede, it is, it's thick. But I actually did that on purpose. <laughs> when I went to the store, I, went, I wanted to make sure I got a thicker fabric because I was like, I wanted to have some substance to it. like. And also when I pull it and hot glue it, I want to make sure that like, I don't know, in my mind, I was like a thinner fabric, it's pull probably wrinkle. But if I'm pulling it and tucking it, it wouldn't move, you know? I don't know why I was thinking that. I don't know. Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys. Lenore says cover it. I am her uncovered. Ophelia says, do you have an insult pick of it covered? No, you would just have to imagine this with the black. Um, Felicia says, try a sheer fabric. LG says, uncover, spray paint the metal black. Lady Earth says, sheer lace black. Oh, that'd be cute. Excuse me, or cream lamp shade. Cameo Girl says cover, cover it. Jasmine says a lighter weight fabric and you'll be happy you follow your mind. Edna says a sheer black. <laughs> April, April says these comments are a battlefield. Yes. Hannah says do you. Brenda says my husband even said black. Oh, this is a new idea. Felicia said just cover the top half, which would be this part. And I guess this part would remain exposed. That is a neat idea. So this part would be black. And then this part would be exposed. 
on the same train of that idea, Felicia, I was telling Marcus the other day, and I even told my mom when I um, grabbed this from her, I was like, I love this top part. If I like cover this, the top part is so cute to me. I was telling her like, could I cut this bottom part off that makes it longer, you know, and just leave the top part? But I thought that it was an extension, but it, it really is all one piece. And it'd probably be so hard to like cut these parts off. So it's still cute. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Adriana says, how about stained glass? OMG. <laughs> I know. It's like, when you're doing these DIYs, there's so many options, right? So many things like you could do, so many things that could look good and a lot of things that probably wouldn't, right? I just want to make sure I'm not doing something that would look terrible and then I'm wasting time and prolonging it, putting the video up and I just want to do it right the first time. So like getting you guys' feedback and stuff, it really does help me wrap my mind around what it is I'm doing. But at the end of the day, I really need to be obsessed with it, you know? While I think that this look is cute, I'm not obsessed with this. And now, especially here, that this was all Marcus's idea. And he's like, no, go ahead and cover it. I'm just like, ah, what do I, you know? Because if he for sure was like, I love it like this, I want it like this, this is great. It looks good. I'd be like, okay, cool. Because this is, you know, he's going to be spending the majority of his time in here as well. So his opinion really, really carries weight. Um, but he also likes the other idea too. So I don't know. Anyways, you guys, I think I'm going to leave it right here because we're kind of at a standstill. There's like nothing else really to do because yeah there's just there's nothing else really to do right now so y'all i'm thank you for joining i'm leaving here more confused than when i started but it's okay because i think no matter what it's gonna turn out good whether i leave it like this or i um cover it hopefully we'll see you guys just have to tune in on sunday because i'm gonna get this done it's going gonna, it's gonna to be done for the video, for sure. And I plan to post the full um, office makeover video. Not office makeover, but the decorating portion on Sunday. So you guys will see this on Sunday. And you just have to leave me your comments then. Like, girl, you made the wrong choice. Or, Kayla, it looks great. Hopefully, I see a lot of Kayla. It looks great. Because as of this point, I don't know what I'm going to do. So I love you guys. And thank you for spending a little bit of your Wednesday night with me. This was so much fun. I like when we're able to like do things together like this. So I was talking to Marcus earlier and he was like, oh, you should make this a weekly thing. I was like, yeah, I should, you know, go live for a little bit for an hour, hour and a half, whatever. This probably would have been longer if we started, you know, to cut out the pattern and place everything. But because I don't know what I'm doing, I'm just gonna stop right here, sleep on it, wake up fresh tomorrow and, I'll share everything with you guys on Sunday. So thank you guys again for joining in. I hope you enjoyed this quick little live on Wednesday night. And I will see y'all in the next one. If you're watching the replay, be sure to leave your comments and, you know, why you think X, Y, or Z down below as well. Um, and make sure you like the video. And again, I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys. For me and the lamp. Wait, where is it? There it goes. Does it go with the room, though? Like this, if I left it? I'm just going to stare at this for a good hour before I go to bed tonight. That's, that's really what I'm about to do. So, yeah. See you guys Sunday. Bye.